What time is it? It's science time! Right, get that tied up there, bring the string down. And what we have here is a pendulum. Look at this. I tied a piece of string up to the ceiling. I have my bob, which is the weight on the bottom of a pendulum. And this is actually a lacrosse ball. Side note, my daughter plays lacrosse. It's an awesome sport. And then I have it attached to the string here. And I have the string coming out of the top of the screw. So I drilled a screw in there so that I could get this to swing back and forth. Now, a pendulum does exactly what it's doing right now. It swings back and forth. And another cool thing about a pendulum is that when you swing it back, the time it takes for, uh, for it to get from point A over there to you and back to here is called the period. So I can let this go. Let's come back really far. Let it go. And that's the period. So we can actually count it off. So one, one thousand, two, one thousand. So the period, the swing for this pendulum is two seconds. The period is two seconds. And the really cool thing about a pendulum is that right here, it's at rest. So the string is stretched as far as it can go. And it's hanging right here. It's moving just a little bit, but it's hanging right here. And we can say right here that it isn't doing anything, right? But when I start to move the pendulum this direction, it's actually gaining potential energy. See, the height of the bob is getting up further away from the table as I stretch it out, right? And that is potential energy. It's gaining potential energy. The higher I bring it, the higher the potential energy. And then when I let it go, that potential energy is converted to kinetic energy or energy in motion. And what's happening here is, we're gonna stop it. This right here is the highest point for the swing. That means it has the most potential energy that it can have in the system. When I let it go and it swings and it stops, well, it doesn't stop. But when I go as it's moving through the swing, the lowest point, once I let go, that's where it has its highest uh, kinetic energy, the most energy in motion, because at that point there is no potential energy because it's at its lowest point. So in this system, we're converting from potential kinetic, potential kinetic, potential kinetic, potential kinetic. That motion keeps going and going and going. And what I love about this is you can have some fun with it also. So I stacked up some cups over here to my left, to your right. My, yeah, you over here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually take this and I'm just gonna give it a little push. <laughs> <laughs> so that is the power of a cross ball swinging as a pendulum. But here's the thing. We're going to try that again, but this time we're going to use my little friend, little C. This is actually a doll of my daughter. Um, and we use her for science experiments sometimes. Are you ready? I'm ready, Mr. C. Let's do this. All right, little C, here we go. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to bring this. I gotta make sure it doesn't hit the container right up to her, to her chin. And the question is, is it gonna hit her chin? And we're only doing this with a stuffed animal because we don't wanna do this with a real person, right? We don't wanna get anybody hurt. And so I'm gonna let this go in three, two, one. It doesn't get her. The question is why does it not get her and it knocked over those orange cups? And the answer is simple. I don't know if you paid attention, but when I had the orange cups, I actually gave it a little push and I gave it extra energy, which caused it to come back up. And we'll do that here with her. We're gonna give it just a little extra push. And there it hits her. But when we just hold it and let go, it can't hit her. And that's because the system has the most energy right here, right now. And when I let go, it can't get any more energy from anywhere. Even though it's going potential kinetic, potential kinetic, potential kinetic, potential kinetic, it doesn't change the fact that it's not gaining energy. In fact, it's losing energy to friction. The string up there where it's pivoting is rubbing a little bit, so it's slowing it down. 
the ball is moving through air and air creates air resistance, which is the type of friction. So this is not a perfect system, but what's really cool is you can have some fun working with pendulums. And watch this. I can bring this all the way back from, my, from me to you. Woo! And it doesn't get me. And that's all because of potential and kinetic energy. Thanks for being part of our crew today and checking out this short clip from DIY Science Time. If you like this clip and you want to see more exciting science, check out the full versions right here on the channel. Be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more exciting DIY science time.